Courtney Furniture. Oh, my new room's amazing. Rosie and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm doing something a little bit different and you guys know I've had this room like this pink, white and rose gold for a very long time. So for today's video I'm going to be doing an extreme room makeover. So this room makeover is going to definitely take me a couple of weeks or even more and I want you guys to follow my journey so we're putting this all into one video and we're just going to be filming loads of stuff about it. It. But before we get on with this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos just like this one and stay tuned all the way to the end because there's going to be a massive difference. So if you want to see the transformation of my room from this to what it's going to be at the end of the video, stay tuned. This light is pink, literally my whole bedroom is pink and then my furniture is mostly gold. So I'm going to be changing the whole colour scheme and my colours that I really want to do are grey, white and champagne and I really wanted to do this for a very long time so I'm so excited um, and obviously I just got my new vanity and I got it in white instead of gold like I had last time. So I'm obviously going to keep my vanity because I got it for Christmas but the first thing that I need to do is actually change all my furniture to white. So. In this part of today's video, I am going to be transforming my bed from gold to white. Obviously, I need to strip my whole bed of all of these covers and then we just need to paint this gold bit here, like here and all around my bed, white so that it goes with my theme of my room. And also, my nan is actually coming to my house today to help me um, paint my bed because she's amazing at painting furniture. So let's get started, guys. Oh, this is so heavy. <laughs> right, I've got to move this mattress. And under my bed is probably a bit messy. Right, I'm just moving my mattress off, but I've just put new nails on. So, one, that's hard, and two, <laughs> I'm going to have to paint with new nails on. Also, this is so heavy. It's like a king-sized bed. Nan's arrived, and it's time to paint. But first, we need to sand. So it is the morning after and Nan helped me paint the bed. It is finally done and it took ages. And now the next part is I need to take all of my furniture, such as like my bedside cabinets, downstairs and then see if any of my family wants them. Or if they don't, then we might sell them. <laughs> I just thought I'd give you guys an update. This is how my bedroom looks in the moment. Obviously, it is very bare. There's literally nothing in my room anymore except for my bed, my vanity, and these desks. So, we obviously painted my bed so it's nice and painted now, but I don't have my duvet covers um, because we need to get new ones to match the theme of the room. And we have painted all different colours on my wall. So, and I wrote them. Also, I just cleared out my vanity, so I've got all lipstick on my hand. Um, but we're thinking of going with this one, and we're going to put these on this wall. We're going to paint this on this wall and that wall as like a feature wall instead of the rose gold. So that's that. And then we, as you can see, we took all of my LED lights down and most of the paint's come off, so we're getting Look, this is what happened. Don't mind the state of my bathroom right now because it's literally got everything in it at the moment. We literally just took everything and put it into here, literally. And then we've also got samples of what we want this to be. So we want my bathroom to be a bit of like a boudoir type thing. Um, and it's going to, we were gonna pick out of these two colours. I really love this colour because it's like a dark berry colour but I love this one because it's lighter. So I'm really stuck on which one I should do. So I asked Lils and she was like, I don't know. I asked mum and she was like, I don't know. And then we had this good idea where we could mix the paint. So we might try that but 
yeah this is how it's all going at the moment and this is just a little update so we're waiting for furniture to come now So this is what's happening with my room at the moment. As you can probably tell, my walls have been painted a goldy, cream type champagne colour. And I'm really happy with them at the moment. They've only just had their first coat, so they're obviously not finished yet. Um, and they're also wet. Obviously, there's literally nothing in my room except from my vanity and my bed. <laughs> so it's a bit echoey. But yeah, I'm in love with this. Come see what's going on with my bathroom. It is probably the messiest it's ever been. I'm keeping literally everything in storage here. And then we are just, in the, oh my gosh, I've got so much dust on my feet. But we are um, painting my bathroom all this color, except from the tiles. So that's what, this is going to be kind of like a boudoir, as I said. Um, but I'm really happy with how it's going at the moment. And I can't wait for it to be fully done. But at the moment, I'm sleeping in the spare room until it's full on, like, finished. So that's what's going on today. Peekaboo. This is what my room looks like at the moment. The walls are finally finished and painted. They look really nice. We've put my new chandelier up. Obviously it's a bit smaller, but it is gold. So then guys, we've got all this new stuff from the shop and this is to go all with my room. So we've mostly got gray and golds and whites. So this is what it looks like. And then we also got two of these rugs and they are so soft. I absolutely love them. I'm not going to show you too much, but I'm going to wait for the big reveal. But this is what my bathroom looks like at the moment. It is all painted and we have added a chandelier. And there's something on this wall right here. I can't show you now because I want you to wait, but I can't wait to show you. Just have to wait. Bye guys. So at the moment, you can probably tell there's a lot of boxes and that is because I just got new furniture. Um, this is my new furniture. So like everything's in here. Then I've got these bedside cabinets and then I got all of this new stuff here. Um, and so I've got four of them, two gray ones. They're like boxes, which you can keep storage in and two pink ones to put in my bathroom um which is going very well and then i got this wax melter um and then these kind of this little hand soap dispenser i also got this which is really cool it's like an eye mirror oh there's my phone um but it's an eye mirror because i always draw eyes that will go in this room and then this is quite cool as well which is a mirror with tassels which will go in my bathroom for like because it's like a boudoir anyways um that's what i wanted to show you just a little update and i'm now going to set up kind of everything like all the furniture and everything um so update you later also she's come from somewhere guys just the last finishing touches before my room makeover is actually finished and i can show you all the results so i have these candles here and i'm going to put one in here and i think i'm just going to leave one out and put them somewhere cute also these come with a remote and when you turn them on by the mains all you need to press is on and they both come on so when i want them off when i'm going to sleep turn them off and on instead of keeping on taking them out turning them off and on again and then look at this look how realistic this looks this is actually a fake plant and 
it's kind of like rubber and then um, this right here is just plastic so I can keep this in my room and it will look real but I won't have to water it so that's good I'm going to put these all everywhere and then I'm going to set up some other bits My room is finally done and I'm so excited to show all of you because I spent so much time and effort on this and the final result is amazing. So let's show you the final tour. This is my back wall that you see first. We have changed the colour from rose gold to this cream colour and I adore it, I love it so much. And then we have my mirror that I've had for ages, it goes with my bedroom. And then we've got a new little feature on this part of the wall. We have this cute little vase that actually has fairy lights around them so it lights up at night. So that's this back wall. And then as you go here we have painted the cupboard white again so that it's clean. And we have added some cute little feathers. As you move into the main part of my room, you will probably notice a lot has changed in my room. So I'm just going to show you all around my room, step by step, showing you what has changed. Guys, the first change that we made was my bed and it has gone from rose gold to white and you saw me painting this at the start of my makeover. Then we have added white bedding, this grey rug uh, that acts like a fro, and then these cute little pillows which are grey and gold. So this is my bed. We've also added some little rose lights which give it a bit of texture and I think this is just amazing. This is our little display cabinet and it's exactly the same over here, so let's go over here. This is a really cute area, guys, and I love my candle right here, which is great for safety because the flame isn't real. On the floor, we have added this white rug, which is so comfortable and soft. And then we have these storage boxes right here that also act as a seat. As we move further on into the room, I have my vanity in the exact same place. And then I've also matched my vanity furniture to this one. So this is new furniture that I got. This has got everything as in like pajamas, all my underwear, just everything keeps so much stuff in it and I love it so much. We also have the same handles as my bedside cabinets um, and these ones as well. And then my mum has actually painted the legs of this chair just show you if I lift it up like that. You can see she's painted them white, they used to be black, so now it goes so much more with my room. So this is one of my favourite parts in my room because of just the aesthetic. I love the contrast between this cream and white, and then you've also got little decorations. So you've got this fake plant here, which is really cool because it looks so real, but then I don't have to remember to water it. And then you've got my candle with a fake flame in this cute little box, which I can use this remote for to turn it off and on and it works for the exact same one as over there. And then this is probably my favorite. This is my eye mirror and my mum actually got this for me in uh, as a surprise. And I love this because I love drawing eyes and I think it's really aesthetic and cute. So we've just hooked it on with this little gold hook. So that is basically my extreme room makeover in this room. And if you guys have watched from the beginning and didn't just skip to the end, 
you will know how extreme this makeover was because now my room looks so much more grown up than it did. So guys, now that we have looked around the main room, it is time to go into the boudoir slash bathroom and I can't wait for you to see this. Let's go in. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I put LED lights around here and changed them to the color yellow, but they look gold. This is my new boudoir bathroom. So we got a new chandelier to go in here and we obviously painted the walls pink. So this is what's going on at the moment in here and it's finally finished. Also, we added my rosy light in here and added a light switch as well so I can turn that on, it's really cool. And I think it just lights up the whole room. My bath hasn't changed, it's stayed white but we've also got some more of these storage boxes which are keeping my wax kit and my acrylic nails in there. And then over there we've just got a little, another storage cabinet that we're just gonna keep bits and bobs in. We've got some new towels, my old mirror. And then you probably recognize this um, seat from in there. And my mum has also painted the legs white. And this is crushed velvet, and it goes even more with this boudoir. And then I got this new cabinet. Then we added a hook for a hand towel, which is something I've never had, but I've always needed it. So there's another aeroplane if you can hear that. Sorry about that. But anyways, we've got some new towels that match the boudoir even more. And then once I'm done washing my hands, just need to hang it on there and then we are good to go. So guys, that was my extreme room makeover and it really did turn out to be extreme because look at my room, the transformation was absolutely massive and I think it looks so much more grown up and so much more amazing. So guys, I really hope you liked this video as much as I did. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos just like this one. I love you all guys and see you next time. Bye! Oh, my new room's amazing. <laughs>